Hi, Epimi members. I'm Richard Kershaw, winemaker and owner of Richard Kershaw Wines. And I thought perhaps I'd just do a little bit of um, uh, background as to what I did before making wines. I used to be a chef primarily, and then I went on to work in retail. I actually then became a winemaker having worked in several different countries from America, Europe, and finally in South Africa. And then I decided to, um, since then, or rather since I came to South Africa in 99, I've gone on to become a wine judge. I'm a consultant for wineries, and I passed my International Master of Wine, and then setting up in 2012, Richard Kershaw Wines. In the upcoming offering, there are a number of, of my wines on the list. And I thought that it would be nice to maybe touch on one particular range called the Smuggler's Boot. The name derives from the time of trade embargoes in South Africa, when growers and winemakers smuggled a grapevine material into the country by hiding the cuttings in Wellington boots. The Smuggler's Boot range celebrates this ingenuity. Some of the members' favourites include the Smuggler's Boot GSM, this is the 2019 and is a three-way blend between Grenache, Syrah and Morvedra. Secondly, I just want to point out the Smuggler's Boot Pinot Noir. This was actually the 19 which that was currently, sorry, recently awarded one of the top five Pinot Noirs in South Africa. It joins the Chardonnay, which is a regular on the, on the lineup, and a brand new wine that replaces the SBS. In addition, I'm also the producer this year of the Founders' Choice. This is a wine exclusively made for premium members and is a two-way blend. I won't tell you any more, but if you subscribe to the program, you can find out what the blend is and what the mystery bottle is. This year, I'm also proud to announce that we have a Coup de Coeur wine selected, and this is the Kershaw GPS Plain River Syrah. It's a restrained peppery wine or peppery syrah from the Plain River or Cape South Coast. So it gets cool sea breezes coming in through the Akadis Valley. And it's got that lovely red fruits with classic um, sort of more, as I say, a bit more velvety tannins. And we do a little bit of stem inclusion to make the wine as delicious as possible. Lastly, I have three wines in the collector's corner that have been selected and they are all sold together as a three pack. And they're each of the bottles have been signed by me personally. These three wines form the top range of my portfolio and only 350 bottles are produced of each wine annually. They are all sourced from Elgin and are sourced from a single area, single vineyard and single club. The reason I make these wines is that I believe Elgin can, can boast world-class credentials and that's why they are my top, top wines. They, they need to, uh, to bolster these credentials, I should say. I've kind of tried to prove it by using signature grapes. So we've got three Chardonnays, three Syrahs and two Pinots. Um, and obviously on this offering, we've got the, the, the Chardonnays. And I think what we need to do is we need to find specific mesoclimates um, that reflect those intra-regional distinctions. And to do this, that's why I've selected uh, to make three of them. So you can see the difference. And they're all made, as I mentioned, from a single vineyard and a single clone and also a single site. They have a an appellation which I've called Lake District or Kroonland that's affixed to each of those. And the clone is SH9C on SH22, very boring clones, but hopefully interesting once you open the bottle. 